hello friends welcome to freeproject.com and this is my new project hostel management system and i have developed this project in php and mysql so uh, i have used the php version 7 and my sql version is 5.6 so you can run this project on the latest uh, php and mysql version and you can configure this project on jam vamp or your linux system or windows system or mac system <clears throat> okay so for front end i have used html css and javascript and i have also used some of the jquery library for making uh, for giving some good effect on the project just like uh, you can see this is the slider so i have added the jquery for sliding this uh, image <clears throat> so you can see this is the home page and after that this is the about project about us space so you can change the content of this uh, page from html directly and then this is the login and the contact us this is a mini project so uh, this is a single user based system so there is only a single user that is the admin so admin will be responsible for managing each and everything in the project okay so let's start with the admin functionality so i am logging with the admin so this is the admin dashboard so where admin will be able to add new rooms add new student room reports student reports and my accounts and the logout so these uh, operations can be performed by the admin and the same operation uh, can be performed from this above menu so you can see that there is a drop down menu here so i have added the jquery library for making this drop down menu okay so explore the functionality one by one so this is the add new room so you will be able to add any number of rooms in this project and after that you can add the students and allot the bit to that student so main feature of this project is the room with so there are number of beds here so if you allot a bed to any student then that bed will not be available in the trap in that drop down so we can see that feature uh, uh, so this is the room report and then this is the student report so in the room report section you can see there is a search feature so if you want to search any room then search then that room will be searched from this uh, search uh, uh, search test box okay so in that there are a lot of uh, there are functionalities you can edit the room from here right and then after that you can delete the room you can view the bed so if there is room 101 then you can see the bed number of beds there and you can also add number of beds in that room so you can see there there is bed 101 102 one two one zero one three one zero one four so what is the status of that paste so one zero one and one three and four is not allocated while one zero two is allocated to that to any of the user right so you can also edit the room from here okay and this is the st student report suppose if i am going here and let's see if I have not allotted any bet to this user then I am going to allot 103 also that user for that user so submit now I am going the going on the room report and seeing that view beds then you can see there are two beds uh, which has been allocated and these two beds that 1012 and 1013 will not be available in that drop down let's see okay so suppose if i am going to add a new strength and then then there is one zero one two and three is not available because that bed is not empty so these beds are empty that's why it's coming on the uh, uh these beds are empty this and that's why it's coming on the drop down but in this drop down you will not be able to see that one zero one two and one zero one three because that bed has been allocated to any of the student right so i am going to add new students suppose i am going to add this kumar and i am going to add one zero one three of bed one so okay and then so the date of birth and then city and state and you can also choose the profile photo from here and submit so i have not chosen any of the profile photo that's why it's not coming 
now so i have allotted that room uh, 301 of the bed one so i am going on the room report and just seeing the view bed so you can see that 103 uh, room of uh, for one room on 103 of the bed one has been allocated to any of the student okay now if i allocate the bed number to that student then it will be uh, released from that student so i'm going on the student reports and click on the edit section and <coughs> so Anjati submit <coughs> so if you see the room reports and the view bits okay so i have allo uh, allocated another bit to that uh, student so now this bit has been released <coughs> so this is the feature of the hostel management system where you will be able to manage the rooms as well as the beds and you will be able to add any number of beds in any in rooms and you can add any number of rooms right so and after that if you allocate any bed to the student then that bed will not be available to any another students while it not in uh, while while it's not vacant right so this is a very uh, small and basic project so you can learn a lot from here this project okay uh, so if you have any any issue uh, in this project then you can uh, post it into the comments and if you need any extra feature in the project then you can also post it into the comments sure i will implement those changes in the project thanks thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the daily updates on the latest project thank you thank you very much